Hi folks, I'm Will Bridges from 123Trade. Welcome to this week's macro market forecast. A little economic update. We're going to take a good look at the calendar. It looks like New Zealand may actually be raising their interest rate. We've been kind of calling for that for uh, really a couple of months at this point. So uh, let's get into the cool part. Got to cover my base first. This is a risk disclaimer. Everything in this video will be for well, educational purpose only. You guys do with the information what you think is best. If you are looking for more information like this, then by all means, like, subscribe, ring the bell, check out our website. If you need help getting a trading account, we have up to $22,000 in education and software that we can let you try out for free. Some of it have unlimited use for free. Uh, just check out our website, send us a message. That's the end of the sales pitch part. Let's get to the actual cool thing. And, you know, this week so far, been relatively quiet. We don't really have anything of note uh, really that happened on Monday. Uh, we've got monetary policy meeting minutes that are happening at 9.30 p.m. They're probably trying to figure out what they're going to do because Australia is probably going to see some pressure to raise interest rates relatively soon because if you come down here and you look at Tuesday's economic announcements, actually, I guess it would be, yeah, it is on Tuesday. We're looking at a raise from 0.25% to 0.5%, which is, well, about as hawkish as it gets in the world. So I'm going to be bullish on the New Zealand dollar. We've got all these other announcements coming out for the U.S. prior. We've got core retail sales. This number is expected to be terrible, okay, compared to what we did last month. Okay, this number is very soft at 0.2%. If it does come out that way, um, retail sales themselves also looking like actually a decline, uh, not even just a small growth, just a decline. Um, industrial production. Okay, let's just pull this up real quick and see what we've got. Uh, we had this really big dip that happened when we shut the economy down last year. We haven't really seen that level of recovery yet. Um, a lot of that is because we've shut down some industry. Uh, but generally speaking, this number is still relatively strong. I mean, there's a uh, good number of years that, you know, that's about what normal looked like. If we go back to 2018, you know, half a percent was relatively normal. So this industrial production number, not of note. Fed Chair Powell speaks. He's going to come out and uh, give as little information about their plans as possible. He's going to make it seem like inflation is not a big deal. He may tell us that uh, the Federal Reserve is going to taper. Uh, as far as their spending on the and expansion of their balance sheet goes, they're talking about tapering that. You know, last week they talked about as early as you know October of this year, which would be a big signal that we should probably be you know pretty hawkish on the U.S. dollar if they do that. Uh, hasn't happened yet. We'll see what he says. Not really anything to talk about other than that until he comes out and says something. Uh, but this official cash rate in New Zealand, this is a big deal. So I'm gonna be very bullish on all things New Zealand because they are raising rates and that's really what most economies need that the reason why they're able to do it and a lot of economies are not is because they don't have as much debt and australia might be in a similar situation they might kind of have their hand forced uh, because they need to try to maybe stay in a range with new zealand so they can continue you know doing business with them uh, that said wednesday economic announcements we've got uh, inflation numbers cpi numbers coming out in the UK, it also looks like in Canada. Uh, so UK, okay, year over year, 2.3% is actually a pretty good number. You know, if we pull up the graph for that, okay, if you look at the last four years, you know, while they were still part of the EU, very, you know, I don't know, status quo type of numbers. Okay, so we've had big rises in the UK when it comes to inflation, but it's been very, you know, well, not crazy. So... They've had big slowdown in the UK when it comes to their economy, but the government is picking up that pace and picking up that slack wherever they can. So I'm still going to be bullish on the GBP because they are still in, you know, the inflation targets are 2%. If they're above that, they're looking to raise interest rates. So I'm, I'm bullish on the pound, bullish on the New Zealand dollar. Uh, as far as the CAD goes, this month over month inflation number, this is also pretty high doesn't seem like it, but this is a month over month number. So this is actually higher than what we're talking about uh, from an annualized standpoint than what we're talking about in the UK. So Canada also needs to raise their interest rates, but it also doesn't seem like they want a strong CAD. Uh, they're a very commodity based currency and it would probably benefit them to, to really grease the wheels on selling more oil to a lot of different places. Uh, because right now, 
It seems like a lot of the G7 are kind of trying to push oil away and move towards this clean energy that still comes from coal burned at a factory. But anyways, I digress. So, Wednesday. We just got a big day Wednesday. Speaking of oil, speaking of coal, all this other stuff, crude oil inventories. Okay, this number, okay, last time came down, which is good relatively, you know, relatively flat compared to some of these big moves that have happened. If this number falls again, oil is likely to come up. Uh, really difficult to say what's going to happen as far as oil goes. Right now, we're kind of uh, begging and pleading with OPEC to produce more oil for some reason. I'm not really sure what the uh, why would we, why we wouldn't just do it here, but you know I'm not in charge. Anyways, uh, FOMC meeting minutes. This is the Federal Open Market Committee. Okay, that's going to be at 2 p.m. This is basically where we're going to come out and say like, hey, this is what our plans are. This is how we're going to just you know raise interest on the dollar. This is when we might stop spending so much money on this. Whatever the case might be. Okay, so realistically. That should be some fairly important information that comes out. It's going to be a statement. It's not going to be a number. So there will be news to read here on Wednesday in the afternoon after that stuff comes out. So people will try to, you know, dissect all the psychology that comes from it because it's usually a mind game. Um, employment change. Okay. Australia's employment change. This is down. Not surprising. That's what happens when you lock down the country. Unemployment rate also up. That's what happens when you lock down the country and people don't go to work anymore. <laughs> so not a big surprise. I am going to be bearish on the Australian dollar until that happens or until they raise interest rates. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. You know, if they are still locked down, it's going to be very difficult for them to raise interest rates. So New Zealand may actually be putting them in a rock and a hard place if they don't raise rates tomorrow. Um, if they do raise rates, excuse me. So. Hard telling if New Zealand follows through. We'll see what we'll see if they actually do it, but I think that they have good odds of doing it. Uh, just because I think it's best for them, and they don't have to care what happens necessarily uh, to Australia when it comes to profitability and import. Uh, but that being said, okay, Thursday we've got this Philly Fed manufacturing index. This looks like it's an improving number. If we take a look here, you know, manufacturing's been a lot healthier in the past, but we're very much at the numbers we looked at during the Trump in, Trump administration right now so nothing anybody's really going to be alarmed about unemployment claims this number is coming down okay at least expected to okay it's been falling well really since april of last year uh it's really kind of slowed the fall we are chipping away at it we had 10 million open jobs when we looked at this last week so 10 million open jobs we're hiring 10,000 a week pace could be better <laughs> uh, but I will take the progress. Um, GBP retail retail sales these are down. Like I said, it's still not concerned. Asset purchasing facility in the UK crazy high. The government, you know, if you're not going to spend, we'll do it for you. That's what the Bank of England is really sending the message right now. Canada, okay, this is the last big announcement we've got for the week. Core retail sales this looks super healthy. Okay, so. Really, when we kind of crunch this whole week down, you know, Canada's numbers look pretty healthy. Okay, so we may see some strength in Canada, may see some strength in New Zealand. I think New Zealand I'm probably the hottest on, uh, GBP probably second hottest. Kind of a mixed bag with the USD. A lot of things can happen in the coming days. There's a lot of political risk and really just a lot of money that they're throwing around and trying to spend, you know, another three or four billion dollars as soon as they can. So. If they raise the debt ceiling, anything like that, that's something that you need to pay attention for. So I'm not going to be long-term bullish on the U.S. dollar, but in the short run, you know, maybe, you know, maybe after Tuesday. I don't know. It kind of depends on what happens with this retail sales number, but those look pretty ugly. So all that said, thanks everybody for joining us. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, then by all means, like the video subscribe you're going to want to ring the bell too so that you can get notifications as soon as we upload this type of material but again i'm will bridges from 123 trade check out our website send us an email if you need help but otherwise have a great week happy trading and be good or be good at it take care folks